Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial. Uh, in our previous tutorials, we saw how to interface and uh, YOLO object detection with an isocross. And uh, in this video, we are going to see a uh, step by step process of uh, uh, interfacing a uh, UDF model into the isocross and adding the sensors, camera to the robot and uh, see the output in our ways. And also, uh, we are going to use OpenCV to interface with an isocross. Uh, this is our uh, final outcome of this video tutorial and now let's we start the video before that uh, we already import the UADF model into the uh, world how can we add this UADF model right uh, go to Isaac utilities and in that we have an uh, workflows in that you have we have an uh, UADF uh, import us right click that and choose the file and where you set your UADF model in the workspace go to the and click that UADF model ok this is the UADF model I imported ok let's we start the video and uh, first uh, thing we are going to add a camera to the robot uh, go to camera link to create and in create we have camera right import the camera now we already imported the camera to the robot now go to windows in the viewport and go to perspectives in that camera click that now now we add a camera to the robot after this so we need to add a LiDAR camera plug in to the robot uh, we have LiDAR in top of the robot so now go to the UADF model in that we have a LiDAR link Click that create or go to create that we have Isaac in Isaac go to sensors in sensors we have ladder in ladder we need to go to rotating click that now we added the ladder to the robot and go go to that ladder in property panel and go to raw UST properties enable the uh, draw lines okay now we will play the robot now we <coughs> give the ladder to the robot and pause the video pause the on us and now finish we have added the camera ladder plugins to the robot and next we need to add, connect the robot with an ROS right go to active node I already take over which are the nodes we need to the robot and connect one by one and I gave the link in my description for an ISO documentation. You can go through that. After connecting this, uh, we can control our robot using an uh, ROS. rotation rate
okay now we connected all the things and now we need to connect the isa create simulation time simulation time to timestamp okay now we need to connect a camera right go to action no pause camera helper take this and connect the node first and connect connect render protect path to the I say cross uh, oh, sorry cross camera helper to the render product camera setup this uh, we need to give the reference area to the cameras in uh, ISA cross on yes uh, ISA graphs uh, so click the setup Isaac setup camera and add a target in target go to the robot in that we gave the robot in here right click that one we add a reference frame also for the robot in camera and go to LEDAR I say cross get rid of LEDAR beams node and go to robot frame in that robot frame we add a LEDAR right now we interface with the ROS now we can play our uh, Omega go to terminal and type ROS code first you enable new master so type uh, type ROS topic list in uh, on the another terminal now we have RGP ROS out ROS out underscore G scan right type ROS topic echo Slash scan and we'll get the uh, numerical values of LEDAR and type RQD underscore image viewer it will be show the image output in our terminal right and Close this and type R this. This is the output of LEDAR camera, right? LEDAR sensor. And go to add my topics. In my topics, LSR scan and change the frame to the yes, LEDAR, right? It's a frame value back where we can see the frame value, right? Frame name. Uh, go to Ross one publisher scanner in this we have frame sim underscore letter is a frame value for our uh, I said Ross so to interface with an always so after that we'll see the output of the letters in the uh, in the always and increase the size
okay now now we see the output of the both the lidar and the camera in the raw environment and we can add our camera also in this environment and you can see in all this and now we need to interface it and uh, open see right uh, go to i already create that uh, source folder into my raw source space change to set on that after the sector in that sector we have an open cv an open cv src in that uh, go to open cv dot py this is an uh, open cv interface within ross code and i will explain the code first i import the ros py uh, library to interfaces and ros after that ros message from uh, from sensor message import the image after that using these modules after that i import the uh, uh, cv bridge uh, for interfacing with the ros any ros non program will be interfaced with an bridge library and you can see here the package to convert between the ros and open cv image it will be convert the uh open cv image to ros and these are the code and uh, we need to give the topic which is subscribed to this open cv is an uh, rgp is an subscribed uh, which uh, that uh, is across is publishing the image by using a rgp uh, topic uh, to the environment so i will subscribe the topic to this uh, open cv node and now i am going to launch the open cv ros run open let's go cv open cv dot py okay this is an open cv frame and now we can open the terminal uh, receiving the frames right uh it is simple and we can see here the values of an uh, camera and using this we can do our uh, object detections and uh, line following object following will be easily done by using open cv and using ros bridge only we are going to uh, transfer the data between the ros and the open cv so ros bridge is an api like uh, it will be communicate between the ros and open cv using ros bridge so uh, next video will be based on how to uh, tell you of the urdf robot using a uh, I said awesome relations. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel.